So here we go. Hello? Stop! Tell him! Follow the trail. Follow the trail. Yeah, the ever winding changing trail. I think I'm nuts. Why am I here this late? Why can I ride rides if no one is on the other side operating? And why do all these things look like people? Do they not look like people? Gilders? Look at that. They, they, they're looking at me. Uh, I don't like that. Oh, come on. I just got up. Uh, God damn your freaking project. Up and down, up and down, up and down. This game promotes working out. In incident report. Employees names. Uh, Francis Dufresne. Otta Dufresne. Otta Dufresne. <laughs> uh... What's an auto frame? It's something you do, but you shouldn't anyway. Or whatever that song is. Frick, I just messed that up. Okay. Time of day of uh, accidents report. 25th October, 1976. See, 70s and 80s. Job, title of department. Labor working on the crane. Hmm. Supervisor lead. Uh, Richard Stapleton. Lawson's Creed. Uh, Witnesses, Lawson's Creed, and Michael Edgeworth. Okay. Brief description of the accident or incident. During the transportation of the bumper cars into the arena, one of the straps attached to the loading dock uh, came untied, causing a cascade of bumper cars. Ooh. Um. Uh. Causing a cascade of bumper cars onto Francis who was standing um, directing the driver. Francis was crushed by the weight of the cars. Whoa. Um, described any injuries caused. Francis was killed. No kidding. Did the injured employee see a doctor? <laughs> yes, if you mean a mortician. I should be making jokes. If yes, did the file, did an employee's portion of a worker's comp, did you file an employer's portion of the worker's comp, yes. Um, so the government, Dexter, the truck's driver, claims to have seen someone on the back of the load undoing the straps. No one can, no one else reported seeing that. The sheriff has requested that Dexter provide them with urine sample. No kidding. Um, Evil Island. What could have been done to prevent this accident slash incident? Double checking of the straps after transit should be mandatory and drug screenings for all drivers. Have unsafe conditions been corrected? No. Um, police editor, someone or another's photocopy. Uh, the local laborers are very superstitious and this hasn't helped. Some of them are refusing to return the work until we have someone from the local church walk the park and exercise the bad spirits. <laughs> Dude, you made a bad investment. This is not okay. Look, any accident that involves a priest showing up to exercise bad and bad spirits, th there's no pay high enough for me. I'm gone. Hey, uh, it's like, hey, Phil. <laughs> Phil the useless. Um, what's, uh, what's all of this? What? All of this stuff. What's the clergy? There's like an army. Oh, they're exercising the bad spirits. 
Phil, let them know that I'm giving them my two-week notice. I'm out. Hello, my baby. Hello, my honey. Hello, my ragdoll. No, I'm done. I'd be done. Um, no, 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 no. Okay. Callum? Callum! Where are you, Callum? Lights tell me to go that way. I'm going to check over here. I question the sanity. I know I keep saying that, but I do. Mommy is coming, Calm. Actually, that might continue with the game. Let me go check this out. Callum, why did you go? Callum, why did you go? Uh, why is her baby crying? This is not okay. Mommy is coming, Callum! I don't know which way I'm not supposed to go. I mean, I mean that sense of actually continuing the game. Like, I want to explore and then get back to. I don't want to miss something because I went the wrong way. Stay where you are! It's a matter of public record that I am a failure as a mother. Once, when Callum was very small, I left him asleep in the car while I ran an errand. Don't even remember what it was. Huh? When I came back, like... the sheriff was standing next to the car, watching my boy through the window. I didn't like what I saw in his eyes. Judgment. He wrote me the ticket without saying a word. Just the scratch scratch of his pen on the notepad. When he gave it to me, our eyes met. I know what you're going through. My daughter, Helen, she... Just get some help. Help was a bolt of lightning. Help was a thousand volts surging through my veins. Help is agony. I'd rather die. I wanted to scream. I'd rather you pulled your gun and shot me. But instead my mouth said... Yes, Sheriff. Electroshock therapy. And unnecessary escalation. Where are you? Callum! Stay where you are! But they add to the world, and I am a sucker for world building! Don't be afraid. Callum, where did you go? I'm not gonna hurt you. I'm not gonna hurt you. Wendy, darling, light of my Callum? life. Callum! I'm not gonna hurt you. Not okay. Where are you, Callum? Yay, more reading. Here. Continue delayed by the incompetence of the builders. The problem is that they are locals and so they believe a lot of the rumors about what old man Henderson used to do here. They grew up here on these tales. Um, every time a bolt comes loose or a wrench goes missing, the fools are crossing themselves against the black magic. I just wouldn't work there. Of course, that is why I chose this site over all the other potential Solomon Island, uh, all those with Solomon Island is a nexus for dark energy. <laughs> what? How did we go from I don't believe in this hoo hockey be who to dark energies? 
And the thought of all that power is just displacing, is just displacing beneath the earth here. It makes my skin crawl. I called in a few papers back in Brooklyn and got someone at the local academy to see if they had any interesting books about the local history. Turns out they do. And it turns out that old man Henderson was some had some pretty strong connections to the Brooklyn crowd. Uh, perhaps something he wrote will help me find the piece of the plant that I am missing. <laughs> How? <laughs> How do we want, how do we go from, I just want to create joy. And this was a good deal because it was so cheap. And everyone is crazy because nobody, there is no such thing as ghosts. Who, ghosts and dark nexuses. Alan, where did you go? And why do I keep riding rides? the fact that I'm nuts. Any more giant mutant people mutant come things? into your life for a reason. Dad used to say that before mom ran off. After that he mostly just drank. Things were different for Don and I. When we met, I was sweeping the floor at Susie's diner. He came in with some workers, but he didn't try to flirt or cop a feel like the others. He just ordered a coffee and sat there, watching me. When my shift was over, he offered to walk me home. Creepy. I don't know how to describe that walk. He talked and laughed and eventually kissed. It felt like love. It felt like a fairy tale. I can't okay. tell you if Callum was made that night or one of the ones that followed. But I think it has to be that night. That one perfect night. Don and I moved in together, but then, well, he died. According to the supervisor, his safety harness failed when he was working on the top of the Ferris wheel. Don was there one moment, and then gone. Sometimes people leave your life for no reason. I was three months pregnant with Callum. Fairy tale fucking over. Um. That didn't make any structural sense. Okay, obviously I have the choice to ride the Ferris wheel again. 
All right. Hey Guilders, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, be sure to catch me live on Twitch. The link is below. Please stay tuned for the next episode, or if you're looking for something a little different, you can follow the links to the episodes on the left and the right, or you can catch one of my guest streams. See you next time. Ha ha! Ha 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 ha! No! My ball! My ball! Yeah. Already ahead of you, Tequila. Thank you, Captain Obvious. Keep it up, and I'll promote you to Sergeant. Nope. 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 Nope.